whenever you're ready. We as Americans consume more oil than any other nation in the world, despite the fact that we only make up a small percentage of the world's population. The United States, on average, consumes 20 million barrels of oil per day, according to the Department of Energy. In fact, uh, the burning of fossil fuels makes up about, makes over 85% of the energy the planet uses today. Uh, the problem with this is that uh, fossil fuels will eventually run out. Uh, according to uh, many scientists, if we continue to burn fossil fuels at the rate which we're burning a day, uh, they will be gone in 63 years. Today, I'm going to discuss uh, three forms of alternative energy, hydro energy, solar energy, and wind energy, and the benefits and advantages uh, they have over burning of fossil fuels. So before I start off, I'd like to uh, explain to you what alternative energy means to you. Uh, alternative energy, as defined by the Oxford Dictionary, is energy generated in ways which do not deplete natural resources or harm the environment, especially by avoiding the use of fossil fuels and nuclear power. Uh, the Department of Energy uh, defines it a bit differently. The Department of Energy defines it as renewable energy technologies that have the potential to strengthen the nation's security, improve environmental quality and contribute to a strong energy economy. Now that you guys know what alternative energy means, uh, I want to go over the benefits and why you should choose alternative energy. So one of the most well-known benefits, uh, the main reason most people choose alternative energy over fossil fuels is its impact on the environment. Alternative energy has a huge impact on the environment. It's cleaner, uh, you, it uses renewable resources, it won't run out unlike fossil fuels. Uh, the National Resource Defense Council points out that if uh, we eliminate the consumption of fossil fuel subsidies alone, uh, carbon dioxide emissions uh, will be reduced by 5% by the year 2020. The Department of Energy also states that wind power installation in the United States uh, produces enough electricity to revert 79 million tons of carbon dioxide. That's the equivalent of taking 14, point, 14 million cars off the road. Second big advantage uh, alternative energy has is its impact on the economy. Uh, according to the Department of Energy, uh, alternative energy promotes job growth by investing in new in infrastructures and creating uh, jobs aimed towards a little bit long-term skills. Uh, Department of Energy states that 126 companies have already announced 46,000 new jobs. Not only that, but alternative energy also meets, also helps meet the nation's energy needs. A small, for example, a small wind farm uh, can provide enough electricity to power 9,000 homes. Next, you might be asking, but what are the perks and incentives for me? If you go online and look at, on the database for state incentives for renewables and efficiency, uh, you can find all the incentives each state lists. Uh, 24 states offer tax credits, and not to mention there are numerous federal grant programs which you can take advantage of. Uh, now that I've listed the uh, many benefits and advantages alternative energy has, uh, I want to talk to you about some of the most popular kinds of alternative energy. Uh, first, there's wind energy. Wind energy, which is energy taken from wind, uh, wind turbines converts the kinetic energy from moving wind to electricity. As I mentioned before, they're extremely efficient. Uh, in the United States, uh, they avert 79 million tons of carbon dioxide. The next uh, I have is solar energy. Solar energy is probably the, is certainly the oldest type of alternative energy. Uh, solar energy is energy taken from the sun. Solar energy uh, uses solar collectors called photovoltaic cells which are commonly found on top of rooftops and vending machines and calculators. Uh, they take the absorbed light from suns. The photovoltaic cells take the absorbed light from suns and converts it into electrons. And it's renewable, and the sun will run out. Next, we have hydro energy. Hydro energy takes this kind. Of, hydro energy is similar to wind energy in that it takes uh, the kinetic energy from moving water instead of moving wind. It can be looked at as like a reverse pump. Uh, hydroelectric turbines also uh, won't run out, uh, unlike fossil fuels. Uh, in conclusion, I'd like to reiter reiterate what I've gone over. 
Alternative energy is cleaner, it's green, you're saving the environment, and you'll be saving money with the tax credits uh, you'll be receiving. Oh, the three main kinds I've gone over was wind, solar, and hydro. Today I've discussed the three main primary forms of alternative energy. I hope you take this information I've given you and go ahead and do further research on one of the forms of alternative energy I've listed.